validate with other stuff. Okay, enough talking. Let's go back to work. See, there's a difference, guys. I didn't have my suit equipped. You saw the little bit of damage I was doing there. That's the difference between the bone suit with the bone attack up and without it. And that was a brain fart. I did not intentionally mean to do that. So I'll probably get launched into the air, lose a ferry. That's okay. We already know how I'm going to finish them then. So that's the difference and the proof is in the video it took me a lot longer to kill him because I did not have that suit equipped I didn't intentionally do that but don't get me wrong that wasn't a prove my point thing that was a brain fart thing but since it happened there it is ow what's that about There's that royal again. Has to be consistent though, and it usually has to be a weapon drop, not bow or shield. But it is a good sign. So that's an. All four mug deals, unfortunately. Let's get back to work on our uh, white maimed. We'll see what happens. And unfortunately, I can't check weapon drops with white maimed, so I'm going to run by Dilling Peaks. No, I can't do that. We're going to be out of food. Unfortunately, I'm going to be out of food anyway at this point. That's alright. I can cook more.
Not worth the trouble. There's a crock like right here too, I forgot about it. That tree that was sticking up into the air. We'll get it when we come back.
nice, uh, this is stupid. Now if he does a spin attack with his crusher, that's really going to be a bad day for me. Okay, dead before he could try, that's a good thing. That spin attack with that crusher that he does, that's pretty much unavoidable. Your shield will deflect that once, and that's it. That's a bad day. Alright. Still base level, that's okay. Kinda wished I did Mugula's last. That's my indicator. When I start seeing royal uh, swords or claymores or anything like that coming out of those chests, that's my trigger. That's exactly when I know I get them. Uh, I actually think I have a video out from before this walkthrough where that happened. And sure enough, I went to the Dueling Peaks and there they were. Probably not the best use of my time. Yeah, let's do that instead.
still reds, it's not a good thing. The fact that it's carrying a Savage Lionel bow is a good thing. Oops. Holy guacamole, that's up to a little bit. So that's a knight equivalent, wait a minute. Yes, that is a knight equivalent, so we're still getting ups on knight level weapons here. The fact that these reds are carrying savage bows tells me that we're getting closer and closer. I know this works, I just want to show it in the video. Done before we even hit the ground. That's what I'm talking about. In it to win it. I'm going to do this all day. Okay, we just got a durability up on a Savage Bow. That, my friends, just might be the trigger I've been waiting for. We're going to go take a quick peek at the Dueling Peaks. No pun intended. Um, yeah, yeah, what am I going to get rid of here? Decisions, decisions. Sure. I still have food left. I don't know what to do with it. This might get us, eh, kind of time consuming. So is that. I want to know what we got. Let's go take a quick look. If I run out of time, I'll just eat another meal. Silver, baby. From the makers of Awesome, awesome Sauce and Boomski. We're proud to present gravy. 
That's it right there, folks. And the proof is in the pudding. That's all you have to do. And it didn't even take a full big scale hunt. We took out three white maimed, four mugdillas, and two browns or reds or whatever. That trigger that I was looking for, on the mugdilla side of things, we would have gotten some royal weapon drops. You know, like a claymore or a broadsword. Um, on the Lionel side, when I see that up on a Savage Lionel bow, that's that's it. That's my indicator. Uh, what, what was it? Durability up? There it is. Proof is in the video, folks. Okay, so again, this isn't to disprove or anything like that. This is so that everybody knows. I did a lot of work on this, so I, I want the word to get out. That's really all I care about. So, you know, please take the time to like, subscribe, share... Uh, hopefully everybody will start updating their websites and FAQs and all that stuff. Uh, that's the whole point of this. So thanks again so much, guys, for watching, for sticking with me. This is it. Finally made it. Now, of course, I'm going to reap the benefits of my reward here. But uh, I think I'm going to break the video out from here and get back on track with whatever the heck we were doing before all this. Uh, we'll figure it out. So no shrines, no killing bobkins, no nothing like that. Uh, that was the indicator. Either royal weapon drops, not shields, but actual weapons. Mugdulas, that's what you're looking for. Or when you're out hunting Lionels, the up, whatever up, you know, doesn't matter. It can be durability or attack power up, it can be anything. Uh, quick shot. Um, as soon as you see that, that's your cue that you now have silver bobkins. And it always starts with bobkins. I don't know why that is, it's just the way the game is. Uh, so now if I go show you a few lizzle nests, they're all just going to be normal. Uh, in fact, there's one over there right by that West Barrens or whatever. Uh, if you guys really want a spot to look at lizzles, you know, from time to time, you can warp in really easily. Go look there, see if there are sil any silvers yet. So that's it, folks. Thanks again for sticking with me. Don't forget that like and subscribe. I know you have to log in to do that, but I'm trying to get word out. So when people go on Google and say, how do you get silver enemies? I'm hoping they'll find this information. Um, again, that's the whole point. Because there is a lot of confusion on the internet right now about this very subject. So, just trying to clear the air, folks. Uh, thanks again so much. We'll see you guys back on the next whatever I decide to do here. <laughs> I'll probably just hang out here and uh, kill these guys off and then go figure it out from there. I'm trying to figure out how long this video's been running now. I kind of want to keep this... It's a one video on YouTube, so yeah, we'll see you guys back for sure. Thanks again, folks.